Okay, there we go. So we got Hunter, as we see, is going to do his zoo lock. And Pete's... Pete looks like he's going control with that hand. It's hard to say. He's got a high mana hand, but this is, I guess, the pally deck that he was just working on. We'll and see the, how it exactly. turns out. Exactly. There's that Legend Arrows we were talking about that he probably got. But he does have a heal. That can stink when you're going against a... Or when you're a zoo going against a pally. Have you guys seen that new uh, technology where it's like the pally has that... He drops like four silver hands. And then he has another spell that gives him like 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, it's mustering call. And then after mustering call, you put you put down the quartermaster who's like a 2-5. And he makes everybody a 3-3. Three, three, all the silver hand recruits. He has to have two turns to do that, but it, yeah, man, it's a pretty awesome deal. deal. Yeah, it makes it makes people deal with the silver recruits from now. You know, you can't just like ignore them. No, definitely because anything extra is value if you let them go away. I never let them stay on the board. Or I try not to anyway, because I always know that they're gonna they have the blessing of kings. So what do you do if you're hunter right here? If I'm hunter, I ignore it. And I just go to face, and I put down the shield bearer, and I guess yeah, shield bearer. And I yeah, I agree. And I don't put down the other shield bearer because I'm always scared about equality against a paladin. Oh, that's the worst thing you want to see, is when the shield bearer gets buffed up another hit point. Pete now has to load. He load play the secret, and then next turn he's gonna have his uh, his uh, sword that hopefully will finish off the uh, the taunt. No, does not. He doesn't care about the secret. I'd play the secret over the one one recruit. I think. What about you guys? That's why, cause of mortal coil. Well, I guess mortal coil was already gonna come out for that two one. Yeah, it's hard to say. Pete might be saving that for a better play. Ooh, that rusty horn's gonna Ooh, that bring some value. That secret? <laughs> no, it's a spare part, the rusty horn. You can put that on the 2 2, and then you have like a, a cheaper uh, Sunwalker. Oh, I see. That's only one mana. But I wonder if he's going to go for the legendary. I will see. It'll it'll show what kind of a player Pete is if he rushes the legendary or holds on to it. That priestess is going to keep buffing the spider. Or the shield bearer again. Yeah. And that's just going to be annoying. Right. Oh, nope, gets the golem. Golem's still a good value if you can get the 2-4, because that's annoying. Let's see if it, Pete doesn't know, but he needs to play that rusty horn because he's having a doom guard come at him next turn. Do you guys think he doom guards on the next turn because he'll lose both cards that he gets? Well, no, I don't think he's going to do it. it. It depends on the draw. I would doom guard. I'd give up just the spiders for the doom guard to the face. Yeah, I guess it depends what else drops. See, why did he do that, though? He Couldn't he have just taken the taunt out? Yeah, well, no, it wasn't the taunt. No, yeah. The taunt. Yeah, he could have, so it was a misplay. Nah, right here I do Fairy Dragon and Creepers. Because also your Doom Guard is just seven, it, or is five damage in hand that you can always hold if you need a bailout. Or if you need lethal. Oh wow! See, I don't. I, I'd always just. Well, no, I guess not because it was a five. I yeah. don't know if 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 you if it's even board and it's your turn. I don't. I wouldn't trade minions for minions. Well, I always used to have the idea that if I had more than their minions, like they had one and I had two, then I always go face if my damage was better, and then or even if my damage wasn't better, 
three but and four even you know so four and two i, I don't know S see i don't think i think the rusty horn should have gone on the two two because you're sucking up a lot of damage like see he could have done damage and then let them run into that two two like he would have got the two damage oh but you can see him resting his his uh clicker on that five card so you know he's wanting to pull it probably next time that's big da damage but he has 27 health so it, you're seeing that hunter's not tapping much oh that's big time he needs to drop that and then he can almost doom guard for free This is where he really needs to pull a Consecrate. Yeah, Consecrate will really put him ahead. I wonder if he runs any equality in his deck. You know, it's is equality a rare or is quality a epic? I don't remember if anybody remembers. Hmm... I want to say it's just a rare. And a rare is what? 100 to build? Yeah, it's a rare. It's just 100 to build. If he doesn't have it, he needs to build it. Because I mean, that's huge. Uh oh, that's an epic. But really, it's an epic that's just going to kind of like square up the board a little bit. Uh, one of Hunter's spiders is still alive, so it's just going to split. It's one of those annoying boards where even if you knock the things down, they just come right back. Yeah, that's the bad thing about the the spiders and the harvest golem is that with uh, cards like Avenging Wrath, they don't uh, trigger their death until after the card is played. Yeah, which I wish it did it during. That would be cool. He's going to chance it. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Unless Consecrate comes again. Consecrate will be the great like equalizer right here. Oh, but can you you want to now look you're trying to fish for Consecrate. So he needs to use that. I think uh, uh, he needs to use that Avenging Wrath. He's got to drop that Guardian of Kings now, right? Yeah, his Kings and his uh Holy Light. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I would almost go, which that, I, I would go with the Hammer of Wrath, just the fish, and then after that, if it didn't work out, drop down the uh, the heal. Oh, I know what you're all saying, Guardian Kings for the heal, but you have the two, you have the whole yeah, then the same heal. He, yeah, but he'd have a 5-6 out on the board, which is stronger than everything that Hunter has. Right, but on this next turn, Hunter has lethal. Well, no, if you, I see what you're saying. You're six, so two, one, two, so that'd be the six right there. It'd bring him back to seven. I don't know. I, I, He needs Consecrate, in my opinion. Like, I would look for Consecrate, and I would heal myself to survive another round, but I know he's got Doom Guard sitting there, which he doesn't know about. Or he could just lag out. Is that is that what's happening? Or, is that... <laughs> or did we lag out? <laughs> <laughs> did we lag out or did he? <laughs> I don't know. We're about to see something. Pete's in oh, on the internet. Pete's no, right yeah, it's on the Pete. <laughs> uh oh. This is going to be our first documented controversy. Is Pete going to tell us? Hey, I lagged out. Well, at least we got it taped. And Hunter, Hunter doesn't play. He, even though he could just get the little one-hit win, he puts down every <laughs> card he's got. <laughs> <laughs>